just jamming to the music, y'all. <laughs> Welcome back to Hot Topics. Hot Topics. Hot Topics. Hey, I'm LB. And I'm Sonora, but you can call me Auntie from the DNV. And I'm Lala from the Charleston, Miss Hurricane in the building. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. How y'all doing, ladies? <laughs> doing good. Yeah, how how you? are you? Man, it's been a great day, but man, the rain won't stop. You have rain, I have snow. Keep that. Keep it up there. And I have fog. <laughs> <laughs> I have the 60 degree weather. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, no. <laughs> did we have fun yesterday or did we have fun? Oh, yeah. It was good. It was a good time yesterday. Good Man. time. Yeah, we did. We did. Yes, yes, yes. We already got, hey, we already got people chiming in. Uh, people, when you send messages to us, please don't forget to like, love, and share this content as you're actually leaving your messages. If you have to call a brother and sister, call them up. Say, hey, some hot stuff going on right now. The topics are burning. You better get some of it. But right now, check this out, y'all. We're going to salute to Miss Mary Green Roberts. Actually, she was on with us last night. Hey, Mary, we miss hey, you. Hey, hey, hey. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> you in the house. Hey, ladies. <laughs> ladies, uh, y'all please don't, don't think bad of me for the first topic we talk about because I was watching, I don't know what it was. It was something on Facebook I was watching in an infomercial. No, I was playing a game last night after, uh, after the hot topic, something, you know, just to relax me and everything before I go to sleep. And an infomercial come on. And I'm like, really? This is what we gonna do? And man, it was in reference to, it was called Lumi deodorant. It's a natural deodorant for all parts of the body, excuse me, all parts of the body. And it said, including private parts. But the commercial, <laughs> she covered, really all she talked about was the private parts. And I'm like, wait a minute now. Who puts deodorant on a hundumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumum
Better out than in. Ain't no need to keep it that in. Better out than in. Guys, <laughs> let, let, let's roll this clip. We're going to pull this clip up, man. And y'all just check this out right here. Size them out and apply it like a lotion to your privates. Then kiss your stinky butt goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> no one likes odor below the belt. Whether you're at the gym getting free samples of butt incense. At the office, inhaling your own front pubes. Or in bed, doing some stinky wanky. No, not the Teletubby. Your privates go everywhere you go. So why isn't there deodorant for privates? Now there is with Lumi, the only <laughs> natural deodorant you can safely use on your private parts. Lumi is clinically proven to eliminate odor all day. And if you're using your privates all day, good for you. Lumi's been proven to control odor for 72 hours. Lumi works by stopping odor at the source. Bacteria. Most crotch and butt smells come from bacteria on the skin, breaking down fluids and farting out odor. Lumi stops them from eating so they can't fart. Now they're polite germs. Hello, governor. Hello, governor. I never. Goodness me. Lumi was created by <laughs> to be totally safe and effective. It's made with gentle ingredients and only goes on the outside, not the inside. Stop putting things inside. And despite what the douchebags tell you, the outside is where the odor is anyway. Hey, those are mine. You have enough douchebags in your life, Cheryl. Lumi is natural and safe, even for the most sensitive parts of the body. Like the ones men can't find. Just take a pea-sized amount and apply it like a lotion to your privates. Then kiss your stinky butt goodbye. Mwah. Goodbye. Ah! So if your junk smells so awful, you're bad at hide and seek, click the link below to try Lumi today. If now, guys. <sighs> you're, you're cracked. Said, number one, they had the perfect person. Yes. She, 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 she was great. She's a great actor. She's great. Very great. But she said, if you're at the gym and you're getting butt incense. You're too close. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My face is not going to be. She's sweating booty. Yeah. That was too close. Yeah, don't you. most gyms kind of have like a booty smell, a foot smell, some kind of smell? Don't most gyms have that? Some kind you of smell? Have, you might have a foot smell because you're sweating. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you ain't gonna be right up on nobody's butt. No. And then you took the it, it depends on now. It depends. It depends. It depends. Hey, yeah, it'll say some butts. That's, a, that's the gym, not the home, not the you know. No, I'm saying. You must ain't been in the gym lately and saw some of them buff men. I seen some of them buff ladies, and I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm, we bending. Yeah. Well, that means that you didn't wash your butt when you got up before you left home. Exactly. Yeah. And, and I was going to say the same thing at home. You were laying in the bed. You still need to take a shower. Exactly. exactly. Well, did y'all hear the part where she said, uh, or you at the office inhaling from food? Oh, that's that yeah, lady. She was fanning down there. See, did I she would, not wash that morning at night or something? No, I would run from her. She was fanning. And wash in the morning, and then you better have your girly kit with you. Hello. Well, what do she need to wear skirts or dresses? Or she, she she put on pants to cut really tighten that up. No, she needs to wear cotton underwear with the cotton crotch and go see her gynecologist if it's smelling that she's fanning like that. Something is wrong. You have some type exactly. of exactly. And, yeah. and she probably need to air it out at nighttime when she go to bed. Yep. But Let ladies, it be ladies, let, let's salute, let's salute Terry, Terry Clary out in Wichita, Kansas. Salute to you, Clary, Terry. Gianna, <laughs> that conversion was weird. Yeah, I know, baby. I know, baby. I love you. I know. <laughs> no, it, it was, it was, it was, it was crazy. It was very. Y'all like and love us up. Please share, share the uh, podcast for this evening. But I, I go back with you. My, my thing is for them to put that commercial together. First, when I seen it, I thought it was a joke. I actually had to dag on Google that bad boy to see if this was real. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they did it to get people's attention because it got your attention. It sure so, did. Look, that was the reason why. Yep. That's the reason why the whole thing to get your attention, get you to stop. Like, wait a minute, this can't be real. This can't be real. <laughs> I I went even further and watched some of the people who actually tried it. There was there was one young lady who actually tried it and um, she treated. They said, if you wear your everyday clothes, you need to treat your clothes with vinegar, uh, vinegar cider 
and, and spray it because your clothes are still have that odor. So she treated, washed her clothes, vinegar cider, put her little stuff on. She said she was fine okay. when she went to the gym, came back, had her husband to smell her on the arm. She was okay. But I'm like, why do you have to do all that to put on some deodorant to see if it worked? She said she would wear it I think, in the wintertime, but not in the summertime because the summertime she could smell a little funk. Family, if you will, if you uh, have any questions in reference to the video you seen, please share your question. We'll put it up on the screen for uh, uh, me and the ladies to cover it for you in reference to that wonderful Lumi. Let, let, let me let, let me say this: we're not showing that video to help Lumi advertise. I really don't think they need oh, no. our help. But no, I thought that was funny. Yeah, I'm trying to get over the apple cider vinegar. You say she she had. Oh, she, she, she sprayed under under the armpits of some of her sweaters, I mean, shirts and things, just to get that uh -huh. regular deodorant um, that was already pre there, like she pre-washed them over again. And she smelled, she sprayed vinegar, vinegar cider and water underneath the armpits and she washed. I'm like, that's too much. Just to try to, to make them hot and clean. <laughs> Thank you, just to make sure everything was clean. Then there was another young lady who was a heavy set young lady because I wanted to see what she would what, what she would say because she said I have rolls I have rolls I had cracks I have everything she said I ordered the sample pack where I got three different of uh, she got the the lavender sage she got the uh, mango and then there was another peach salute to you uh, Jimmy Hall salute like love and cherish brother she said when she she said because you know I, I'm a big girl I sweat. I wanted to try because yeah. I saw the commercial. She said, when I saw the commercial, I thought, what the what in the hell is this? She said, so I went on and I went on and ordered it. She said, I ordered it. She See, said, when I uh, uh, uh auntie, we got comedians everywhere. People is saying that she need new arms. That she needs new uh, arms. <laughs> if your butt, your butt that bad, you need a uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, but let's go back to the video. You remember when she said <laughs> Even if you're in the bed doing the stinky winky. Yeah. It's I'm not the thinking. No, no. But and that if it's stink, you got something going on down there. You got you got some kind of yeah. some D going said, on. Or stinky or winky. No, you, you, you listen now. She said doing the stinky winky. So is that what they call making love? I guess that's what they call making love. I don't call it. I don't winky. Call <laughs> that means her, that means somebody's stinky winky down there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because if you yeah. stink doing the stinky yeah. winky, you need to go to the doctor rocker. <laughs> now, now, granted, it does look like this lady's a, a, a piece younger than us, but still, stinky winky. I don't like, want to be with you if you got to call it stinky winky. Thank you. <laughs> baby, baby, let's go home and do the stinky winky. What is that? Huh? <laughs> <check this out. laughs> she just needs to get in the crevices. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Make soak, boil. She might need a boil, Cherry. <laughs> take a bath. She needs so, to take so a bath to put some alcohol in her bath water. Yeah. So, so, so the big girl tried it, and and she said when she opened it up, the one that was sage right, and, and lavender, she mm -hmm. said it smelled like pee. Now, and yes. I like, uh -oh. now, now auntie, oh. look, look, look at the peanut the uh, peanut gallery. Yeah, I see. We, we saying uh, her stuff was stinky from the inside out. Um, Connie, Connie. Okay, Connie. <laughs> okay now. All right. <laughs> How do you know about that, Connie? <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> and this is y'all remember the part where she said, and if you're using your parts, uh, your uh, private parts all day. All day. What? Who <laughs> <laughs> uses that stuff all day? Somebody standing you on the corner. professional. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> on the corner. So Mary, yeah, Mary. Yeah, Mary. Are she right. She right. Yeah. Mary, are you saying if they use their private parts all day, they're rotten? Is that what you're saying, Mary? <laughs> oh my God. All day? You can't use your private all day. No, because you, you're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna be a stinky anatized sister. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be a but but then but the, but but the heavy set girl, 
she said she did not like the smell of it and that she wouldn't order. She ordered that that was the trial package. She said she wouldn't order again because just the smell of it didn't smell. She said it didn't smell pleasing. It, it didn't smell right. Tell me, it was stinking before I even put it on me. Well, I want to put something on me that stink already. Did you see? But the thing about it is, they make stuff for women who have that type of odor. Yeah, you got the summer eve. You got all that stuff. They make that, and we're all different. We're all different since we right. all don't. It's all different. So. Yeah, and, and if you got that smell going on, then you need to go see your doctor because something going on with your pH balance. Yes. <laughs> salute to God. you, Dr. Peterson. Salute to you. I'm to say somebody on the corner. <laughs> Tanya. <laughs> Y'all go back. Y'all go back. You remember when she yelled out, stop putting things inside? Yeah. And she yelled uh -huh. that whole thing. And then she told old girl, you've got enough dish bags. Yes. <laughs> you don't need them. Yeah. <laughs> She said, girl, ain't, ain't none of your men no good. <laughs> they all been bad. And that's why she and that's, that's why I she's doing the stinky winky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's why she got all the fish back. I, I've never heard yeah. that term. And I'll be honest with you, I, I can't honestly say it's just a white term. Or just because I've never heard, I mean, I, I've dated white ladies in my day, but I've never heard a white lady say stinky. Let's go do LB, let's go do the stinky winky. Yeah, that was my first time hearing that too. Like, what? Stinky Winky. Okay. I Ooh. never heard no Stinky Winky. I heard making love. Let's go do the thing. Oh, I don't, don't want to say what I've what that I heard. Freaky, uh, that sounds naughty. That sound I don't want to say. Let's go I don't want to say. Yeah, what I've heard and what I've said. I won't. I won't say that. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's <laughs> not say that again. You heard me. I'm I don't want to. I don't want to say what I've heard and what I've said myself. Okay. Well, tell us what you heard. We got to tell what you, you don't tell what you say. Uh, what I heard, I'm going to see a man about a horse. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. We're going to move go, back. Yeah. <laughs> he asked, right? I can keep going. Sometimes you don't ask me for things because you, you might not get what you want. <laughs> My mouth is <laughs> ladies. She said, if your junk smells so awful and you're bad at hide and seek, this product is good for you. Mm -mm. You have uh, too much junk in your trunk. That's what it is. You need to go to the doctor. You need to run. Something's wrong. It it, it goes back to that eating the right foods again. I'm with you, Terry. Terry. I'm with you. I'm with you, Terry. Terry says she white. She never said that. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, never heard that either. Mm -mm. <laughs> so, you <laughs> Get your ass in there and what? You Go ahead, boy. Terry. Tell him now. <laughs> hot water. No stop. No chaser. Just straight hot water. Make soap. <laughs> Make soap. <Bacon> soda. <laughs> yeah. She, oh, you going? You going? She put some school. baking soda in there. You going old school baking soda? Mm -hmm. Baking soda, <laughs> better add a little alcohol. Get rid of whatever you got on your skin. Mary, I'm gonna be honest with you, Mary. There's some men that will. Yeah, there's some. Oh, men. He's nothing but a dog. He mm -hmm. he. That, that ain't. Yeah, that's 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 nasty. He's either a roof mm -hmm. or a lousy wowsy. He's one yeah. of them. There's some men yeah. out there. He don't know. care. Mm -hmm. He just want to get in and get out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, he don't that's, care. Salute to everyone that's in the chat. Uh, we, we appreciate you for coming in and placing your comments on the screen. As soon as, they, as, soon as you make your comment, you type them up. We'll try our best to get them up on the screen. If you will, uh-oh. You see, you, 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 you cut me off, Peanut Gallery. Uh-oh. Trifling, she says. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, Connie. Trifling. Get that old hot water bottle and vinegar and water. <laughs> Terry, you on point. You girl, you my girl. You on point. You on point, Terry. The, the red, oh the red one. The red one hanging on the back of the door. You look at as a kid, it's like, what is that? You know what though? Hey, lady, mm -hmm. me and my brother used to play with that in the tub. We didn't know what it was. 
we would fill that bad boy up <laughs> and we'll be in the tub try to float on it and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I hope my mama don't kill me. <laughs> man, oh man. That, I knew y'all would like, I knew y'all would love that one. I really Yeah, that, that was a mess. But that, that commercial was geared just to get people's attention. And it and it, and it yeah. worked. It, it worked. It's yeah. getting people's attention. Yeah, it did. And they're looking at it. And, and, and that's that that was the whole purpose of doing it that way. Mm-hmm. To get to get <laughs> someone's attention and to get them to stop to look at it. And and <laughs> But it, they say they, the, the little cartoon when the cartoon part came on and talked about how it, it gets the way all the sweat smells, the fart smells, and all the other smells. I couldn't catch them all. I'm like, if I got all the only no, smell my no farts somewhere, somewhere and wash. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, it, was, it, it was a lot. That is going. It, it's telling you it's taking, it's going to take care of your whole all your body odor. <laughs> Oh, body odor. Oh, Mary, mm-hmm. you know you like that stinky <laughs> winky. <laughs> you know to have a stinky winky, Mary. <laughs> I'm getting all set, man. I'm gonna let y'all have it. I'm gone, bye. <laughs> LB, we gonna tell we gonna we gonna send some stinking winky to you, uh, and you tell us how it is. I'm running. Yeah. I'm running. <laughs> send it up north where it's cold. It'll kill all the germs. <laughs> no, no, real cold weather's killing the germs. That's that's the cold weather killing all the nasty germs. Oh man, mm-hmm. that was too crazy, man. <laughs> that's what she need to go do. Sit outside. In the cold, on the, in the ice, snow. Yes. and in the, the snow. That hey, is rid of it. Let me, let me let me play the second portion of it. I want y'all to catch the end of it. I'm gonna play the second portion of it, man. But family, y'all tune in at the end and watch what they do at the end as they close out the commercial. Watch this. If you don't love it, you can send it back for a full refund. No questions asked. No one wants to ask questions about your privates, Jeremy. But don't take my word for it. Here are strangers talking about their privates over the internet for free. Lumi is the best deodorant I have found for those sweaty folds, cracks, and crepses. I applied Lumi yesterday to the groin area, and 24 hours later, I'm still odor-free. Lumi is hands down the best. Wonderful for after workouts or before intimacy. Or both if intimacy is a workout. And because uh, Lumi conquers all body odor, not just your privet drive, you can use it on pits, feet, or any other stinky crevice. <sighs> so click the link to try Lumi. Now, y- y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, check a wow wow! <laughs> if I went out on a date with her, it was our first time going to the stinky winky, and she made that noise. Uh-uh. Time to go. Yeah, let's go, girl. <laughs> baby, baby, your rhythm off. Your noise is off. Your stinky winky ain't right. Let's go. Cracks <laughs> and crevices. Cracks. That- Cracks and crevices. Mm-hmm. Wait, 24 hours. Who's not going to wash their butt for 24 hours? <laughs> After the stinky winky. Yeah. After the stinky winky, you're not gonna wash your butt for 24 hours after the stinky winky. Mm. Uh uh-uh. uh, thank you. It's real. You know what they say? <laughs> <laughs> that's going up. <laughs> but, ladies, that, don't bring that down, down south. No, we don't need no stinky winky down south. It's hard enough. And when that heat hit that stinky winky, <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Yeah. Especially in Charleston. Oh my lord. Okay. You no, can't have it mm-hmm. you got, you we got already the got the thinking weekend in the marsh. We don't need no more. <laughs> the lady, did y'all catch the part where they held their feet up as if they was giving get their pamper yeah. change? Yes, yes. I'm like, so y'all play too much. Cracks and crevices. Mm-hmm. Ew. I guess at the end of their workout, somebody's gonna come by and wipe their stinky winkies down and everything for them to get back fresh. Uh-uh. No, I got some breeze for them. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you need to go spray some breeze on you. 
That ain't working. <laughs> that well, well, stuff is fine. <laughs> Well, God, I, I, I think Terry, that's what you said. Terry. If your junk smells so awful uh, and, and you ain't good at hide and seek, you need that product. Because some, I'm going to be honest with you, some people can't hide that phone. That phone is strong. You ain't hiding. Mm -hmm. no well, hide. I, but she don't need that product if the heavy set girl said it didn't smell right. She needs something else. She said it wasn't right. She said it already smelled like pee. You don't need to be putting extra pee. So she needs some summer pee. But you know what? That was her opinion. How we know it wasn't her big funky butt. That did, 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 did. <laughs> oh, because she, she made a comment. She take a, a a bath when she gets home at night because she don't want the odor from the street to be in the bed, and she take one before she go to work. Well, why was she? she said, even, That's what I'm talking she about. Think about the product. <laughs> she said because she saw the commercial and wanted to try. It. She said because she's a big girl, and she said and she's wearing this all the time, so she Wait. wanted to. Be can't you smell yourself, Auntie? And you know, I know some big girls be smelling good now. They be, mm, oh, they know they big and they make sure oh, they friends. smell good. Oh, oh, Auntie, can't you smell yourself? Before anybody else, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Lala, can't you smell yourself? Yeah, if I smell myself, I know y'all smell me. She got that to cover right. up. You remember what Grandma said? Yeah. She got that to cover up. She yep. ain't washing. She ain't washing. <laughs> you know what? You're going to time out. You're going to time out. I got the switch right oh, here, LB. Oh, 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 I got the switch. <laughs> she ain't watching. I need my grandma here. Grandma, come help me on this one. Somebody ain't watching that. <laughs> What's she tell you? You couldn't go in my grandmama's bed without washing your behind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What she tell oh, you, baby? Oh, you need to know. Salute, brother, sister. Said they don't want to be in the yoga class. I don't oh, I know that's no. right, Shell Town. <laughs> all that, all that bending and stretching and all that, all up in folk in the air. Oh no, 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 no. Foul <laughs> odor, foul odor. Come on, DJ. A you can't candle do that. won't even take away that smell. No. No, not even Jimmy. Nice I all. got him. I'm gonna whip him good, Jimmy. I got him right here. I'm gonna whip him good. <laughs> Man. Mm -hmm. Grandma. <laughs> yep. Is that you smelling like that? Yep, my mom. <laughs> yep, my mom. <laughs> Don't get sick now. Don't get sick. <laughs> I'll be like, somebody need to fix their underpants. <laughs> That's what I'll be telling my grandsons. Y'all need to fix y'all underpants. Hey, guys, uh, before we go to the next topic, <clears throat> man, wasn't that a good thing about the brothers, the two guys down in Louisiana that uh, uh, helped the police capture the, the guy that was kidnapping the the little young uh, girl. Yes, well, they they drove their yes. truck in front of, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Um, That's the sanitation workers? Yes. Yeah. They're Pelican uh, waste and debris workers, Dion Merrick and yeah. Brandon. <clears throat> yeah. That, that was they, really they, good. They need to do awesome. uh, some type of award or uh, recognition yeah. for doing that. Yes, they need to let, because, you know, they don't highlight the good stuff all the time. It's always the bad stuff that brothers mm -hmm. don't. And for the people that's not up on it, it says that the two brothers knew that something was, was amiss when they spotted a silver sedan in the middle of a field about 20 miles away from in St. Martin Parish. While they was on a trash pickup route, Mon this actually happened Monday morning, something just told them that, you know, something wasn't right. So they went and blocked the uh, vehicle in, called the police until the police came there. And of course, they got the brother in. And it was a... Uh, <clears throat> And I hate to see uh, brothers doing stupid stuff like that, but it was it was a black guy that uh, that his name was Michael Serial, thirty three year old dude who did this, and hopefully you know they 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 punish the dude for what he done. I don't care who you are, you you don't do that. That's not right. That's not right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I, kudos, kudos out to them. Kudos out to them. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, I'm glad I, that she was okay. Glad that the, that the baby was okay. And also, there was some local news. I think they had put up a banner. It was in reference to, um, uh, what was it? 
Let me get it. A Gaston County woman who was shot by a police. It was Gaston County lady in Gastonia, North Carolina. She was shot and killed by a police officer. Uh -huh. so they called 911 and said that <clears throat> there was an overdose and the police came and the young lady, she had a gun. Her name was Shay Jones. She was 33 years old and she was armed with a gun. But all the details hadn't came out on the story. But um, she was shot by the officer. And of course, you know, she died later at the hospital. See, uh, I, I worked on the other end of that, too, at a police department. Um, you, you don't have a milliliter of a second. And especially if you see somebody with a gun and if they're on drugs, you 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 don't have time to think. You, you, it's your reflection, your, your actions. And she had... It, and they said she had a gun. He was worried about other folks' lives and his life also. He didn't know what she was going to do. So just like you said, you have to wait till the rest of the story comes out to see. Uh, have to wait up, wait and see see what was what was going on. But I've worked both ends of it, inside and outside. And 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 it's hard. I used to get on my guys because you know the way they would come back in talking and what they've done. Until I went on a ride with them, I, I did a twenty four hour ride and. Out in the street, it was un. I'm looking like, oh my goodness, just mm -hmm. unbelievable, mm -hmm. unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right, family. What else we got for the uh, the viewers tonight? Well, did you guys hear about that? The healthcare worker, I believe she was from Ghana or from some country in Africa, uh, mm -hmm. a black female, <laughs> and she was a healthcare worker for an elderly white woman. They didn't say where it was located, but the woman spit on her several times and put salad in her head several times. Yeah. Now, do we have that? Do we have that so we can roll that so folks can see what we're talking about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, you know, it said that she was a Ghanaian woman and she's here in America, <clears throat> said she's been naturalized to be a citizen of the United States. So that kind of mm -hmm. explained to me why she took the spit. Because a American sister, she ain't taking that. Grandma going, she going to lift it. She going she gonna, she gonna to be superwoman that day. And she going flying through the air. You don't do that to a, a, a real sister. I mean, she's a real sister, but a sister from America, nah, she ain't playing that. Mm -mm. I got you, First of all, you wouldn't have got that close to me the first time if you were spitting a knot. You wouldn't have got that close to me in my zone. You wouldn't have got that close to me at all. Um, I, I'm I'm hoping that she was videotaping that to if, if something had probably happened before. And she was doing this to have proof for something. I'm, I'm hoping because there's no that lady would have been part of the the paint on on the wall. It, 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 and the thing about it is, the, th the thing about it is, they she may have been taping like you said for a reason. Maybe to show right. her family member how she's acting because maybe she's at a worst stage of Alzheimer or dementia. So they need the proof to probably get her in a better skill facility. Well, yeah, but so they can. There's a, there's another clip also showing. I think Auntie, you had sent to, to me where she was uh, washing lettuce or something like that, grapes and lettuce. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Roll, roll that clip, guys. <clears throat> No, that, that was the wrong clip, guys. Roll the one where she's washing uh, lettuce and fruit and vegetables. Yeah, that was at the begin. That was at the beginning of that. I think mm -hmm. it picks up. It picks up after that. It's like a second part to that. Maybe didn't get it, but um, there was one also that where she was washing. They say that the, the the elderly lady picked up a knife while she was washing the lettuce and the fruits and vegetables. And I'm like, whoa, see, that, that's what we're playing too much. Yeah, that's, that's. Put a tape on and go on and let her be like Superwoman. 
it, it, it was yeah, I want to call. Listen, I can't take this no more. Come get your mama before no. my kids have to come get their mama. <laughs> Mr. Hall, that's it's a true story. It's true. It's, it's, it's legitimately true. But I mean, there's more to the story. Um, they also said that, you know, in, in the latest video to come out, it states that they possibly done kissed and made up. So evidently, this is something it's toxic. It's, this is a toxic working uh, living situation where you're doing stuff like that and then you're playing games. Yeah. Let's, let's and see you this know that it's sad to say that happens in, in real life in a lot of nursing homes or a lot of people homes who family members have dementia or Alzheimer's. It's sad to say, but that's that happens a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of times. Roll the clip, guys. Grandma been mad because she ain't had no drink. That's what that was. <laughs> she got her drink now. I would have been dancing and, and singing and, and being happy with her. I wouldn't have had my back to her, number one. I would never. Never, never have your back to her. Never. Mm -mm. It ain't no dancing and singing, no hee hee ha ha, nothing. Go on there. The, the the one that I wanted to that you were talking about with with the with the salad. The lady moved the salad to one side to sink. The lady, the old lady, went to the other side. Moved it to the mm -hmm. other side. But she knew what she was doing. There's no yeah. way I would be smiling and dancing and drinking with that woman. Well, one thing I can say when is, she, even though she's from Africa, she's from Ghana. She she knows how to drink like the sisters here in, in America, because she she had a nice drink on herself. And yeah. Granny had yeah. a nice drink too. She, so she's uh -huh. Americanizing a little bit, but sister, you might want to go be around some more sisters here in America and let them sisters school you. We don't play that. I don't oh, care what color you are. You ain't spitting on me. I don't care what color. Because when she spit the first time, that look she gave her one a good look. Because I would have said, listen here. What? That was that look like, don't do it, but I'm scared. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. No, I would have looked at her like, are you crazy? How would you like somebody spit on you? And she tried that again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'd have done it. I wouldn't have hit her because she old. And I know I went to prison, but I'd have spit back on her. Oh, I, I, to me, that she yeah, like it's, I, nasty. it's nasty as hell. But I'd have been yeah. a nasty as hell. Smoke, smoke, yeah. spitting on her. Yeah, she'd have got it back. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. And, and, and and with the spitting part, they didn't show. She spit on it three times. The third time was she a did. Hook, nasty in her face. Yes. And it was right there. Face. Yeah. yeah, I'm 100 with you, Terry. I would not allow no one to spit on me, and I'm yeah. be honest with you. If you can dance with me and you can drink with me, you know what you're doing. You better not spit on me. She knew exactly what she was doing. Yeah, when, she was she was when she was taunting her, like I'll hit you. She yeah. knew what she was doing. She was it it, it ain't like, do with her yeah. age. That didn't have yeah. nothing to do with her age. Mm -mm. It was like I said in the no. beginning. She wouldn't have got in my space. If when she would have got close to me, I looked at her. I'm like, "You better back your so and so mofo stuff up before I have you hanging from that wall." And people, saliva don't have no. Uh, it does have a color. It is kind of white, but uh, saliva is saliva. I don't care who mouth it come out of. And there's uh, all kinds of germs and bacteria and everything. Mm -hmm. And yeah, oh, you got yeah. COVID now, and you spitting. Thank no. you. First yeah, of you all, where, where was where was the, the mask and stuff? Neither one of them had one on. Mm -hmm. That's what mm -hmm. I'm looking at. Like, wait a minute, <laughs> hey, uh, Jimmy, I, Mr. Hall, I, I ain't no need to get mad. Get glad with the heavyweight trash bag, and maybe I'll put that on top of that woman's idiot, <laughs> so she couldn't spit no more. <laughs> yes, I would have turned. I would have turned so fast she would have been like, "Whoa, I've been not spitting no more on her. That lady crazy." Let me go sit mm -hmm. down somewhere. Yeah, set your stuff down. Yeah, while you better do you something. She continued to spit on her because she never told her to stop. And true, you're right, that's Mary. True, Mary. Mary. That's true, Mary. That's true. Yep. Mm -hmm. that's she right. never opened her mouth. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's what I think, too. Like, why aren't you saying something to the damn woman? What the hell? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. why it couldn't have been one. It couldn't have been none of us. No. I don't mean no harm, uh, Mr. Hall. Sometimes prayer, you just don't need to pray for everything. Sometimes you need to handle it. Handle your business. 
Yeah. You know, it, we got got that, that. That. <laughs> y'all, y'all got other things to do. That, this is too small for him. You need to handle that on your own. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just like my mama told me when I was growing up. You better never hit nobody. But if somebody hits you, you better you better go to the end. Because if you come home crying, oh, I'm going to give it to you. So my job was, I never hit you. Yes. In the back of my That's head, what my daddy said. I knew Odessa. I knew if I go, I'm like, no, let me handle them because Odessa ain't going to be handling me. So I had to handle my business. And that's exactly mm-hmm. what I did. Touch me. Sister, Talk all the trash you want to, but if you put your hands on me, that was it. Sister Terry, uh, nah, let's not threaten because you know how people are about threats. Uh, yeah, you can jail put for trash bag on them. Put the trash bag on them. Cut holes in it so they can breathe. <laughs> but but keep the mouth covered though. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me let me tell you, let me tell you a secret what one of my one of my uh DEA uh, agent friends told me. If you ever want to hit somebody and not leave marks, get a telephone book. Telephone book don't leave marks. And you can you can hit them, beat them to, with a telephone book. Yeah, that's they don't have them no more, do they? You gotta find them, girl. <laughs> You got to dig deep on I that one. I a telephone book in years. You got to find him. <laughs> yeah, but he said a telephone book. I look at him. He said, I'm serious. I'm like, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, uh, Terry, you say pray for it. Get the Bible. You, you're right, Connie. Have a pray later. Pray that the police don't come and get you. At the right. <laughs> get the Bible. Say, Lord, I'm beating some sense into her. <laughs> Lady. There you go, Terry. <laughs> I've had too much fun with y'all tonight, man. <clears throat> y'all know what time it is, right? Yeah. You big dummy. You big dumb, 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 dummy. Boy, we got a good one. <laughs> <laughs> You big dummy guy. Yeah, you big yeah. dummy. Oh no, you big dummy. Here's dummy. <laughs> you big cold-blooded dummy. You dummy. Oh my lord, they say city tree is closing in five. Dog gonna meet. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh my lord. Go turn it out. I don't finna roll over again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Clean, turn it off from the top. <laughs> hey, Katie, I'm gonna say it. He's a big dummy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> See that? Now, my thing is, what was she running down the escalator to get? Try to catch a score before it closed. And, and that's what Kervin, Kervin said that. That's what he said, you know. Yes. But. I think it was some food at the bottom of that thing there. You, they said, hey, red you light on. I ain't going there with you. Red light <laughs> on. He was running through some food. She wanted to get that sale, a lingerie sale. Uh-uh. She got in the stage of where the bag of cafeteria was. <laughs> she got to get ready for the thinking winkies. <laughs> she was going to the lingerie sale. <laughs> Now, don't you know the escalators will kill you if you fall? She trying to go down the escalators when it's going up. And you see the man in white. He just moved her aside and just kept on going. Didn't try to help her. Miss <laughs> Cleese said, look, yeah. get my girl. Yeah. Now, let, me ask you, let, let me ask you, Auntie. If someone tried that in D.C. to go down the escalator, especially at a uh, real rush time, what's going to happen? What the fuck? Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be on, and everybody gonna jump on her. No, I, I remember a time when I, I was working. Uh, my, my aunt Madge and, and her husband Bob, my uncle Bob, they got me a job up in Bethesda, Maryland. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't used to really, you know, riding the escalators and going, you know, doing the sub, uh, getting on the train by myself. And I was on the left side. And so on the right side of the escalator. Standing still. Oh, that is real. Yeah. You come up behind me and say, boo, boy. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Okay. If you're on the <laughs> left side, you move to the right. Yeah, because they will. Yes. Oh, it's, it's about getting to where you're going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And with her, can you imagine mm-hmm. her coming down the wrong way? What what they said to her? <laughs> you better move your stinky winky. Good <laughs> <laughs> crack showing when you're falling. Yeah, you saw that butt going flying in the air. Oh my god! Yeah, did you see she flipped over? Yeah. 
I'm surprised that thing didn't break. Bottom heavy. She knew she was very long. Lord. She and you top know, heavy. Top heavy. <laughs> Man down. <laughs> Leg all up in the air. <laughs> See that? Big ass tumbleweed. <laughs> God, you ain't right. <laughs> See that? That's that tumbleweed from Texas. <laughs> That big old tumbleweed. <laughs> hey guys, let me see it one more time and listen to the sound effects of this, of this drop. Let's hear it one more time, y'all. <laughs> Look here, you big dummy. Oh no, you big dummy. Mm -hmm. Dummy. You big cold blooded dummy. You dummy. Oh my lord, they say city tree is closing in five doggone meat. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh my lord. <laughs> Turn it out. Oh, finna roll over again. <laughs> hey, Mr. Clean, turn it off from the top. Hey, Katie, I'm finna fool. You big dummy. He said, You're right. Oh, Katie, we gonna fool. She, she was top heavy. That's what it was. She was too top heavy. Those things were jumping and moving too much and got carried away. That balance wasn't right. No. Nope. I tell you, she was going to send a trend. <laughs> I'm just sitting here trying to think of her balances like that, and she with a small brother like me doing the stinky winky. Woo! Oh, you would be broken. <laughs> you in trouble, yes. Broke down, knocked out, sick, just hurt. It's your fault, Mary <laughs> Green Robert. It's your fault. <laughs> You'll be cracked up like my phone. <laughs> Look, uh, I, I hope she's all right. I really do. Baby now. Some big women, some, some little men love their big women now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me some sun with some meat on it. Yeah, they don't like those little skinny girls. Yeah, well, well, yeah. well, at least she got mm -hmm. she got to have some balance. Cause this yeah, it has to be balanced. <laughs> Can you imagine if I was holding her hand? She'd have drugged me down with her. Oh, you, you would have been yeah. dead. You would have been gone. You would have been gone. You would have been crushed. Yes. Yeah. You no. would have been like, hey, Man down, help. And she would have landed right on top of you. You would have, you would have been, and you would have been like, woo, woo, woo. The police would have came and said, where the man at? We can't find him. <laughs> man. Oh, you see the man like this. <laughs> exactly, effortless films. Improper fractures. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man, man, man. But on a higher oh. note, um, the young lady <laughs> in reference to uh, doing the Gorilla Glue, some brother doctors uh, relieved her from that pressure, that pain and everything. It got her hair loose. So she's she's going through a recovery and everything. Good for her. That's good. Yeah, that was yesterday. Yeah, Lord. Mm. That, that was another one. He yeah. said he... Um, he said he went back to his chemistry class and, and looked at the ingredients that was in the Gorilla Glue. That's how he was able to get her hair loose and stuff, and they were washing it. Mm -hmm. I, TMZ had a video of it. Mm -hmm. Well, the manufacturer should have been able to tell her that what the, the darn ingredients were. They made it. They yep. don't want to fool her stinky winky. <laughs> yes, that, that, that was a, that that looked like a stinky winky. Yeah, that looked like one of their customers. <laughs> this for you, LB. <laughs> All right, I tell you what, I'm gone. I'm gonna, you gonna go. get it tonight. I'm gonna let y'all have a show. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> mm mm mm. Wait a minute. Say, but I missed this. What? Put some on his tongue. Woo! Oh, yes. He put it on a red oh, cup. I got to find that. He put let it me on a red, one of those that. red cups to see if it was going to stick to his lips. And it is stuck. The cup was stuck to his lips. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. Come on, he, come on, he didn't believe it. And he looked like he was on a short, short, super short yellow bus. I'm like, if they did that to her hair, why would you put that on your lips? Why? 
The same reason why some of them people um, took that bleach and drank them because you're because number 45 told him it will cure the coronavirus. Well, first of all, why would you do something that 45 would tell you in the beginning? Exactly. Orange, orange man. <laughs> Crazy. Mm -hmm. Louisiana, it says, not again, Gorilla Glue Challenge sends Louisiana man to the ER. Yeah. They told them if they couldn't get it off, they were going to have to do surgery to his lips and remove por a portion of I was like, oh, no. Mm-hmm. He, he, he ain't going to be able to kiss nobody no more. Uh, and ain't nobody going to want to kiss him. I know I would. Sure ain't. They're going to call him Plastic Tone. <laughs> so low. He's going to be all so low. Because he had the red. Red cut so low. Girl, there you go. Red so low. See that? Oh my god. That's why I'm gonna send you La La, I'm sending you a case of Lumi. <laughs> hey guys, uh tomorrow at the round table session, I'm gonna be sitting down with at least six, seven different DJs from the Cleveland County. Uh, Spartan County, uh, Gaffney, South Carolina area, and Shelby, North Carolina area. And the topic okay. we're going to be going on is um, there was 15 clubs that we DJed in the 80s and 90s within those two mm -hmm. cities. And those two cities are adjacent to one another. Um, and it was just a maze. Actually, I'm getting more and more reports that there was more than just 15. More is even coming up. And I'm like, gosh, how could I forget about that one? How could I forget, forget about that one? But tomorrow, we DJs are going to sit down and go down memory lane. This is something that's never been done before. That many DJs sitting down and talking about what it was like DJing at some of the same night spots in the 80s and 90s. That's going to be tomorrow evening on the roundtable session at 7 p.m. I like yeah. everyone to come out and experience a little bit of, I mean, because it's going to go from the older school guys from the 80s and then come on up to the newer school guys of, like myself. And just to hear the stories of how the, the uh, partying came and changed and where it is today. And the real music back then. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, that was ladies, the good music back in the 80s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep, I enjoyed yep. it, ladies. It's time to turn off the lights. You know, as Teddy Pendergrass would say, turn them off. <laughs>